A big day in Kentucky as Governor Andy Bashir starts his second term in office. WTRB's Addy Shaney is in Frankfurt, where Bashir just gave his inauguration address. And Addy, the governor stressed how far Kentucky has come these last few years. Yeah, he did, Fallon. Moments ago, this area was filled with hundreds of people watching as Governor Andy Bashir was sworn in for his second and final term as governor. And the theme of the inauguration today is forward together. The governor echoed this sentiment in his address. These last four years, he's governed through unprecedented adversity in the state, from the tornadoes in western Kentucky to the floods in eastern Kentucky and, of course, the pandemic. When tornadoes leveled towns and flooding carried away homes and even loved ones, we came together. Neighbors pulling neighbors from their basements or carrying fellow Kentuckians through the current. At the same time, Kentucky has experienced unprecedented growth. Kentucky ranks second in the country in economic development and third in the nation in rural job creation. His first term also saw a Kentucky record for the longest period of time with the lowest unemployment rate. But in her speech, Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman said we won't stay that way unless we pay educators more and give all Kentucky children access to pre-K. Governor Bashir underscored his commitment to serve all Kentuckians, regardless of their political affiliation. And I'm telling you, this is our chance. This is Kentucky's chance to be the difference, to be both an economic and a moral leader of this country. Country music star Tyler Childers also took to the stage and performed the universal sound. And the festivities aren't over just yet. The inaugural ball is tonight at 7 o'clock. It is a ticketed event this year. Live in Frankfurt, Addie Shaney, WDRB News.